ladies and gentlemen, people of all ages, everyone is welcome here to witness the downfall of a YouTube juggernaut. The downfall of a hero to many. The downfall of Sniper Wolf. So my boy Oompaville made a video, why does everyone hate s -s 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 Sniper Wolf? Uh, and he basically goes through the entire timeline of everything that Sniper Wolf has ever done. Uh, and she's been in a lot of stuff. And due to recent drama, where she literally drove to the house of Jax Films, another YouTuber that criticized her, took a picture of, her ha of his house and posted that picture. Literally posted that picture for millions of people to see. Stevie, I don't, or whoever's editing this, this VOD. Bro, put the freaking Sniper Wolf shiz on screen when I'm talking about this. She literally doxed a guy. How does someone have 35 million subscribers on YouTube making millions and millions of dollars and dox someone who makes fun of her online? Holy crap, dude. I have a lot of haters. But rest assured, haters, I will not dox any of you. <laughs> What an actual psycho! Holy crap! So yeah, anyway, she literally committed a crime uh, because she was pissy, uh, so that's crazy. So we're just gonna jump into the entire ballad of drama. Welcome one and all, ladies and gentlemen, to the never-ending cringe of Sniper Wolf. Hello, and welcome to an interesting video. Yes, 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 tear him a new one! Caleb, uh, and just for for uh, for the sake of not harassment, I just wanted to start off this video by saying, Sniper Wolf is beautiful, and nothing I say is actual harassment. I'm just saying. Dean Sniper Wolf being talked about recently on YouTube a lot, mainly by Jack's films. Oh. And by God, I tell you what, I've been talking about Sniper Wolf. Yeah. For a long long. Dude, so uh, the funniest thing is when I knew this was all going on, I knew, I knew. Oompaville would be on top of this stuff. This man loves making fun of Sniper Wolf. My God, I don't know anyone that... <laughs> I'm sorry, Oompy, I hate to do this to you. But you are impressive. <laughs> you are an impressive man. Long, long time, all right? <laughs> she makes really interesting content. Grandma, so take the mesh, wrap it around these two poles. Yes. Okay, wait, that's not a loofah yet. You gotta tie the inside. Whoa! Oh, she's going crazy. Crazy. I think doing, but it turned into a She's figured it out. She has figured it out literally. Yes, sir. Lowest amount of effort, highest amount of money made. And I have learned so much from her. I have to say, I, I try very hard to uh, just shit out eye popping thumbnails on my videos. I have learned from her. I, I, I do, you know, credit people when they need credit. And I do, you know, try to get permission for things that I need permission for. And I also do add transformative commentary to my stuff. But I've learned a lot from Sis Sniper Wolf. I'm just saying. She makes so much money. Gets God, so many views. Much money. Has a very loyal audience. Dude, she, she makes way too much money. And I respect her for it. Let's go. She should use all that money that she makes to protect herself in court after she gets her pantsuit off by her ex-husband. And Jax Films. There is a lot of drama around Sniper Wolf these last few days. Holy moly. And on top of all of that is praised by the platform that she hosts on. Why? Yo! Well, I saw the greatest meme of all time. That is praised. By so, Sissy Sniper Wolf is creator of our dreams, right? And it shows Sissy Sniper Wolf over here. And then they say, where did Sniper Wolf get all of her amazing ideas from? It must be from her fans. Because she was stalked. And now she just became a stalker, so she got her ideas from her fans. I don't know. That's hilarious. I'm sorry. By the platform that she posts on. By why, the way, right now on, twi on, on uh, Twitter, which I'm not logged into on my new setup here, but uh, literally there's a community note on this tweet from the official Twitter saying, you should know Sniper Wolf committed an offense by doxing Jax films, which is hilarious. By the platform that she posts on. Why? Well, she makes I don't a lot of money. really know. Because she makes Today lots of money. She is a whammon of of much money. That's why. Just saying. I, I know how he says he doesn't know to be politically correct, but uh, the real reason is because she is a whammon that makes a lot of money. Just saying. 
to be taking an unbiased look. As unbiased as <laughs> I love how un I love Oompaville unbiased videos. Dude, this is why Oompaville is my favorite journalist. Because he is biased and he'll he tells you he's biased. Can muster. Sure. Into the Thank past you. of sexy, sexy sniper wolf, whatever her name is, sniper wolf. There's a lot. She's been on the platform Brother. for a long time. And honestly, <laughs> I, she's been on the internet for 13 years, 35 million subscribers. And she docks someone for making fun of her. That's just, that's impressive. I've been thinking about her a lot, mainly because she is beautiful. beautiful. I knew he was going to say that. I love this man. That's really weird to probably start this out with. No, sir. No, sir. You got to do dodge, bro. You sir, you just, <laughs> you dodge those harassment strikes. Ain't going to call me as some sort of harasser. No, sir. She beautiful. Zoom, phew, dodge, weave, bob, weave. I've been thinking about nice. her a lot because she gets probably just as much hate as she gets love from <laughs> No, she gets love from 10-year-olds in her comment section, and she gets hate from rational people with eyes. Yes, sir. On the website. Does she deserve this the love? Stalker Does she wolf. deserve Am the right? hate? That's what I want to know. Does she actually deserve the hate? I love how he asks these questions. Does she deserve the hate? And then he spends the next 39 minutes talking about the horrible shit she's done. It's beautiful. Is Sniper Wolf a bad person let's find out guys snipey <laughs> let's find out i don't know the answer but yeah all right oompy all right oompy. snipey wolf has been around for a very 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 long time in early 2010 her oh original God. channel that some people say is her channel she says it's not her channel was called sexy sexy sniper this was the, a the funny thing is she denies that this sexy sexy sniper channel was her channel she was like trying her hardest to get away from that brand but the hilarious thing is, she is currently in a lawsuit from her, like, ex-husband, ex-fiancé, ex-boyfriend, I don't know, something like that, where it literally says in court documents that it was her channel. So she keeps denying it, but that was, you know, disproven by, you know, America. The time in which women playing video games was rare. That was like a, 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 a unicorn yes. type thing. Amy. Women playing video games is the shiny Pokemon equivalent of gamers. Rare, um... Big Chungus. I don't know. If <laughs> this was an early 2000. I love Oopaville. Yes, that is the commentary we needed. In 10, she had this channel. Allegedly, I really don't know. For some reason, she says it wasn't her, but it was. This was also a month before I created my channel. I've had my channel since November of 2010. All right, you guys, I'm going to show you how oh, to- Oh, little Oompy, so cute and fluffy. I just want to squeeze his cheek. Plants today. Leah is her real name, by the way. She was posting on this channel uh, videos of herself playing Call of Duty, which was absolutely yeah. massive at the time. Yes, incredibly sir. relevant. The tip of the spear for gaming back in the 2010s. And still now, somehow. I don't understand that, but oh well. She would give- Whoa! Did we just get free feet? Damn, that, that's my boy, Oompaville. God damn it. Not only did we get the, the wonderful Sniper Wolf explosions, but we also got some free feet, ladies and gentlemen. Her takes on the game, whether or not she was enjoying it, how good it was, and she had a bit of a, a, a webcam footage epic add-on to go with it. It was really cool. It was a classic Let's Play. Um, it's yeah, the best part about this footage is the fact that there is a female in the corner. I would say. It's kind of hard. I don't want to say that about a COD game, because, you know, it's COD and stuff. Fine, because the because I have to make content. Back in the 2010s. And still now, somehow. I don't understand that, but oh well. She would give her takes on the game, whether or not she was in... Did you catch that? Hope not. Anyway. I don't want to say that about a COD game, because, you know, it's COD and stuff. Well, it's not, it's not, it's not that it's hard. It's just, like, the hit. Detection is, like, awful. It's terrible. Yes. And on this channel, Riveting other than gameplay. gaming stuff, she would make random vlog conversation things. It was sort of... Schizophrenic. Okay. Dude, I, I so appreciate... Like, I know the basic gist of all the drama that Sniper Wolf's been in. But just because I also don't like Sniper Wolf, and therefore I also have done some research. But the way Oompaville really... He gets into the nitty-gritty. He has watched every Sniper Wolf video to make this thing. All right? that Maybe that's exaggeration on my part. But this man really went into the weeds of it all. <laughs> Oh, like he's like, 
Dude, this reaction face does a is better transformative content than anything Sniper Wolf has ever done. Just, <laughs> Interesting thing. Just that, that sheer and utter confusion. Vlog. But we'll like, move on. why is why are people watching this? Most popular thing that sexy sexy Sniper would do on our channel I back in the olden days, aside from just play COD, was rant in vlogs and talk about things that she was upset about. When I when I said something- She was slightly less unhinged to Trisha Paytas. A while ago, I was like, he was like talking about how he wanted me to be his girlfriend and stuff. Ah! And he was like talking about- People watch this? That's wild. Okay, um. Very 2012. Very- yeah, That was- I, I, I don't get it. I don't understand it. She was also in- It was a different time, Oompaville. Women didn't exist on the internet yet. I'm telling you, it's crazy. An interview around this time where she told everyone her name. She was able to shout out her channel as well. And just to make 100% sure that it was in fact Leah, they left her tag Leah Valentine at the end of the video. This is an old title that she used to call herself uh, instead of her full name, okay. uh, Elias Shalesh. How does he know her real name? Could it be that she is currently in the middle of court cases? Mm. Bro, it's so funny how like everyone, like all these internet goobers, they're all in the middle of crazy court cases constantly, right? <laughs> Dude. I've been threatened for lawsuits in the past, being through controversies that I've been in, but I've never actually been in a lawsuit. Like, brother. As you can imagine. Knock on wood, knock on wood, please don't sue me. Please don't sue me, knock on wood. Her being a beautiful woman and being able to speak and post things on the internet. <laughs> the advantages of her content. One, beautiful woman. Two, able to speak. Now what more do you need than that, ladies and gentlemen? And playing video games got her a lot of attention. I've never seen a pretty lady play video games before. How do I subscribe? I love this man so much. Fucking love Oompaville. This, as it does now for women, unfortunately, whenever they just post videos online. <laughs> yeah, like women post videos online. That's rich. A lot of perverts and creeps kind of get hyper obsessed. And this happened. He's talking about me, guys. This this is a next Taku reference. Her, she was posting cosplay to, at the time, dress ups. She'd wear skimpy clothing. Guys, it made sense. <laughs> no way she made content like this. That's insane. Oh my God. She made like a whole bunch of videos too, talking about how she hates when people talk about her looks. And she made videos like this. <gasps> oh, just a bit of hypocrisy. And it's like a thong and it has like a bow in the back. Oh That's my crazy. god, it's so cute. That's and so cute. You know who? I'm gonna take pictures tonight. Oh, oh! And back in the day, as you can imagine, this got her a lot of hate. People would call her a s yes! or a yes! or all those types of names because she's just <laughs> showing herself off on her But YouTube. I would never, because she's a beautiful, hardworking woman that works very hard to steal the right amount of content from the right amount of people, people to make the right amount of money. I am not getting a harassment strike on this video, goddammit. Tube channel. Yeah, so it's just classic weird 2010s content. It feels almost rotten to watch it. I feel like I shouldn't be watching it or this is something that I normally would have to pay for, um, which I don't watch porn, yes! by the way, guys. Me neither. I have never seen porn before. Now, I know this is, listen, chat, I'm sorry that I'm not relatable, uh, but I don't watch porn either. I know a lot of you think just because I... I research it for content purposes that I partake in the pleasure, but I do not. Uh, much like Matt Pat, I have never seen porn. I'm not saying this is porn, yeah. but I just wanted to throw that out there because I'm extremely red pilled. <laughs> oh! <laughs> yes. Right, my biceps. Now, the people that were calling her a yeah. no, yeah. were obviously wrong for doing this. You can do whatever you want online and you don't need to be called a fucking squirrel. She's neither, doing neither of those things. But this is one of the main points of contention that people have. See, but the funny thing is, like, uh, you'll see women get harassed on YouTube or whatever, and they get harassed, they're called a whore or a bitch and stuff like that. Which is, by the way, disgusting, and you should never do that, by the way, little chatlings. You should never do that shit, that's gross. Uh, but it's very equivalent to, I guess, a dude getting harassed and being called, you know, an asshole and a jerk and stuff like that. I, I guess it's definitely more guttural when it's referring to women somehow. Like, the, the comments just seem meaner. I feel like YouTube comment sections are inherently misogynistic. <laughs> Maybe that's my comment section, I don't know. But I just feel like YouTube comment sections are just awful. Yeah, I've been called the F slur a lot. 
a lot. But I guess, I don't know. Or Sniper Wolf because of the way that she treated other women. More specifically, the Oh, way dude, I love this drama. So, ladies and gentlemen, you... No, the F slur is not furry, you bitch. So, <laughs> what I'm trying to say is uh, there are a lot of um, Sniper Wolf dramas throughout the years. My favorite Sniper Wolf drama, aside from the current... Well, now, I loved the Jax Films Sniper Wolf drama. How Jax Films was making fun of her, I thought it was hilarious. She literally ruined that drama for me by doxing the man, okay? Uh, whereas, uh, aside from that, my favorite Sniper Wolf drama... Uh, is the Sniper Wolf versus Other Women drama, where she feels like people are invading her turf and she must destroy them. That's my favorite drama. She talked about women who did essentially the exact same thing that <laughs> she used to do. Now, during this time and she cannibalizes them! Sniper Wolf will destroy them! This is how Sexy Sexy Sniper became Sissy Sniper Wolf. As well, Leah was a very toxic user on all social media platforms. She was constantly tweeting people um, and calling people out on forums. <laughs> She literally is exactly the same today. Oh my god. It's amazing that after doing YouTube for 10 years, she's still with millions and millions of dollars in the bank and 35 million subscribers and she's still exactly the same. She'll get pissy and write these whole long threads of just angry comments. Yo, Mooney, welcome to the stream. Thank you for the raid, Mooney. That's very nice of you. Thank you for the support. I hope your day and stream was good. My day it was so-so thus far, but the stream so far is going wonderfully. We're making fun of a horrible person, which is one of my favorite things to do. Thank you for being here. Uh, everyone, we are uh, currently watching Oompaville. I asked Oompaville before the stream, Hey, Oompaville, can I just watch all your Sniper Wolf videos? Because this stuff is crazy. And he's like, bro, watch all my shit. That sounds awesome. So... That's what we're doing. We're watching the Sniper Wolf saga. This is the never-ending nightmare of Sniper Wolf for those of you tuning in now. Thank you so much, Mooney, for the raid. I, I really am grateful for your kindness and wholesomeness and because you're such a short, nice friend. And to give her the benefit of the doubt, this was an, an edgy time and a toxic time online. It was dangerous. Yeah, <laughs> benefit of the doubt, all the hate comments that she used to leave and stuff, that was because it was a different time. Now she just commits federal offenses. <laughs> At iDubs, Filthy Frank, Max Mofo, FaZe, COD, Halo. Yo, I love how he's just listing off all of the YouTubers he watched instead of having friends when he was a child. Let's fucking go, Oompy, me too. It's a breeding ground of racism and inc incredibly edgy shit. Yo! Aside from the racism part, that's just like me! Okay, all right, all right. Is this referencing the new Rick and Morty season or something? Before the dark times of the adpocalypse in 2017. No benefit. She couldn't take the time out to call a fan who was dying. Bro! I remember that. That's when I made my first uh, public sniper wolf jab. Uh, when she did that. Dude, That that's literally when I... Okay, uh, so we're going to get to that. I'm sure he's going to get to that later in the video. He covers every single sniper wolf drama. And we, we are getting into the nitty gritty. And I will be opening my asshole for the world to see in regards to my opinions on that. Yeah, she literally had a cancer patient that uh, was uh, just... Her, the cancer patient's one dream was to see, to meet Sniper Wolf. And Sniper Wolf said, okay. And then literally ghosted her for days until the internet called her out on it. And that's the only reason why she ended up doing like a FaceTime call with her for 10 minutes. It was super fucked. And the girl ended up dying. Like, it was... How could, what human being could be that vile? All right, anyway, let's keep going. Pray up, PewDiePie. Pretty much anything could go and did. And this is, by the way, years. This is pre iDubs Filthy Frank. This is 2011, 2012. This is old. So here's her saying, lol, N G G G A. Oh my God, I didn't know about that. Jeebus. Wait, that's crazy. Like 10 a day. How much do YouTube partners make? And then, whatever, they probably said some number or whatever. And she's like, LOL, I get like 10 a day off YouTube, broke ass. Oh my god. Off YouTube, broke ass. Now, I'm also not 100% sure if this is her, but Sexy Sexy Sniper does appear to be Leah, okay? It does appear to be Yes, according to uh, the court. 
Sniper Wolf. And it makes sense why you would want to get rid of Sexy Sexy Sniper when you have all of this context. All of these terrible things, including the and shaming, which we will circle back to. Oh, in wait. 2013, Leah changed her name Get from Sexy free. Sexy Sniper to SS Sniper Wolf. Oh, I wonder what those two S's in the beginning of her name is for. Probably because she's an S tier person, if I had to guess. She kept on uploading Q and A's, vlogs, random COD gameplays, montages, kill streaks, all that awesome stuff. Yo, she's so awesome! I love SS Sniper Wolf. Unlike that sexy, sexy sniper. Very well at the time, especially. She garnered a fairly large audience. In around a year, she hit a hundred thousand subscriber milestone on this channel. Sexy, sexy sniper wolf. Hey guys, what's up? So today is a super special video because I hit a uh, hundred thousand subscribers. She's so wholesome and cute, and I bet she's never gonna grow to do anything abhorrent and evil. Let's go! Today, and I just wanna make this video to thank all <laughs> women cringe compilation. Okay, who edited this video? I need to hire them. Now, Sexy Sexy Sniper Wolf did a really good job of growing her channel. She did she things did. like cause drama, get into drama, mm. insert herself okay. into drama. She and also had the ability of, uh, it's called titties, which helped a lot. Uh, I know that it's, uh, it's a bit of a, a thing that no one likes to talk about in regards to the success of people, but she is a beautiful woman. All right, we're back. We're back. Let's see what we got explode because it makes people care about something that they otherwise wouldn't care about it's what i do on my channel and because I <laughs> he's so real for that but also here's the thing uh i've also gotten into drama a time or two in the past i have been really good about it lately i've decided you know what no drama safe for work nux only i have been f drama free i mean i'm, I'm attacked by people but I'm, I'm wholesome about it i've been nice and cute and yes, you grow a lot less. I, get, getting into drama is the best way to grow. And I used to do it a lot more. And uh, recently, I've just kind of been like, I'm I'm happy with with what I have. And I feel like, why? Why? I, I, I have other things to worry about. I love hearing myself think. That's why I make videos. I love hearing my thoughts turn into words. I love, I love hearing your thoughts turn into words also, Umpaville. Also, your mustache is very sexy. Oh Years went by and the content did incredibly <laughs> well this, for Sexy Sexy Sniper Wolf, guys. Her sub count continued to grow. Her bank account grew as well. The people- How do you know? Okay, you know. Still tried to bring her down back in the day. In fact, back in the olden times, they oh, accused yeah. her of faking gameplay. We'll talk more- Oh! By the way, that accusation turned out to be... True! That's right, ladies and gentlemen. She actually did fake gameplay, and that was proven because she was sued by the person that faked the gameplay for her, her ex-boyfriend. Ladies and gentlemen, she has no redeeming features. More about that in a second. We are now at the point in which Sniper Wolf is recognized as a established creator. Her name is becoming more relevant. People are oh actually God. starting to she's care. She's so famous okay? now. She's gaining a reputation. She's becoming this beautiful girl who's making pretty interesting content god she's so beautiful and interesting hear that youtube don't give me a harassment strike i've gotten strikes that i don't deserve entertaining stuff for the time especially revealing her darkest secrets with her boyfriend sausage that's a gold video right there look at sausage what, are they, what a fella now as the result of dude i love how the internet has changed over the gold years video right there look at sausage all right, so this is her and her boyfriend, right? And everyone was always saying, look at this man, Sausage, what a what a legend. This dude's so awesome. How he managed to bag her, right? And then they, they broke up. And they're like, oh, man, Sausage really fumbled the bag. Can't believe he fumbled the bag. No, sir. Sausage made an incredibly talented decision by dumping her ass. Holy shit. You got away golden. You kept your dick even based on the lawsuit. That's huge. Sausage, what, are they, what a fella. Now, as the result of reaching a point where you are an established creator on YouTube, there's a bunch of channels that will cover that sort of thing. There was a channel called Before They Were Famous Ooh. that made a video on S S Sniper Wolf. Okay, I didn't know that. brought up a lot of topics similar to what I'm bringing Ooh. up now that Sexy Sexy Juicy. Sniper Wolf wanted to stay buried for sure. Okay. Really, really, really all right, extremely all right. buried. Dude, I love how like, oh my God, that thumbnail. That that looks like something I could make when I'm high enough. Get this thumbnail. <laughs> wow, dude. This video is no longer available on YouTube, if you can imagine why. Because it goes over some 
pretty randy stuff, guys, to be honest. I'm not sure how much of it we can put in our video because I don't want to get in trouble. And multiple people have been destroyed off of YouTube via copyright That's strikes crazy. from Leah. So it's happened before. Bro, she I did not know that. She was also a copyright abuser. Bro, what is this clown behavior? She's committed everything. She has committed every YouTube no-no and crime. Oh my god, she steals content? And then she copy strikes other people! For doing transformative content! Holy crap! That's the wildest thing in the world! I have a YouTube, it's Sexy Sexy Sniper. I have like gameplay and stuff and I do vlogs. Did you do modeling? No. And well, she was pumping out these turbo- <laughs> No, she has a picture of- yeah, okay. Sexy video. She was also working at Hollister folding clothes. So you can understand the girl wanted to get her life going and start making some dough. She's a bit of a tease, but I don't blame her. She's <laughs> what is that commentary? She's a bit of a tease, but I don't blame her. Bro, that's some Chad internet mentality from like 10 years ago. It's a bit of a tease, but I don't blame her. I knew he would repeat that. <laughs> oh my God. Dude, nice. what are you doing? What are you doing, Michael McCrudden? This before they were famous video by Michael McCrudden is taken off YouTube, but fortunately, we have basically the whole thing that Leah reacted to on her own channel. Ooh. Uh, and there's some interesting things in it. I want to circle back to when I said that she was accused of faking her own gameplay. Now, this gets a little complicated. Oh, so it gets really fun. In. in Sniper Wolf's reaction to the before they were famous video, she conveniently leaves out the sexy, sexy sniper part and says she started off posting. Game Wait, so in her reaction to the before they were famous, she leaves out accusations. That's awesome. Play stuff makes sense because it's it's sort of up to be attached to that old moniker. I get why. She then goes on to say that X remembrance is not sausage. Who's that? Why do we care? Well, it's this guy I mentioned earlier mm. with sausage. This guy. God Parker. damn! Look at that Chad. Damn, he's the Chad type, the Monka S Mad Lad type, the very, very Poggers Chad type. I would say. About Maybe buttered seven. sausage. Talk about buttered sausage, where it comes from, what it does. That's X Remembrance. She says that's not X Remembrance. Before they were famous guy says that is. Who is it? Why is he trying to make it seem like sausage is this X Remembrance guy? If you go on Twitter and search X Remembrance, oh it's this God, guy called dude. Ricardo and he was on MGO. Why is he trying to make it seem like Sausage is this guy? But we all know and love him today as Mr. Sausage. But it's not- Yo! They posted this! They thought this was a good idea to post! And then she hates getting roasted for- Oh my god, how does it feel? S -s Sniper Wolf? How does it feel to just be outclassed by the sheer baseness of, of your boyfriend? Not even him! How can you be so wrong in this video? Who the f What is going on? Help. It is funny to me how edited her reaction to this is, though. It's pretty funny. And then it was just taken down magically. I don't even know. <laughs> I don't know, dude. But back to X. Wait, so... Oh, my God. That's actually kind of vile. That's like changing history. You know how uh, Doflamingo says in One Piece, history is written by the victor? Badass line. Dude, Sniper Wolf reacted to the video about her that she cut up to only react to the parts that she was able to spin her own narrative and then strike down the original video so that no one even can corroborate what she says to the original video. So the only version you still have up is her very doctored response to some of it. Holy shit, that's so smart! Remembrance for now. Who is that? We'll start off on Sniper Wolf's side here and say that it's not Sausage, aka Evan. But coincidences. She pulled a china on him. <laughs> okay, all right, no. They're kind of well. This ex Remembrance fellow was on Metal Gear Online right, at right. the same time she was, and he was fairly well known in the community, all as right, was she. Right. On a forum online, someone posted the real names attached to the Dude, online. I love how deep Oompa went. He really out there bringing up all the receipts. Usernames of people who were in the MGO community. This included ex Remembrance, mm. with his real name being Evan. And we know that her ex-boyfriend now, Sausage, is named Evan because of this. What an interesting coincidence! I love how he just casually drops the, uh, the what's it called? Her <laughs> criminal record on stream. <laughs> yeah, Sniper Wolf also has a criminal record. Most people I know don't have criminal records. 
Even Umpaville doesn't have a criminal record. And, bro, I see him and I think instant prison. No offense, Umpaville. You're just, you're terrifying. You're sexy, but terrifying. Now, I don't want to say anything bad about this, but it's pretty awesome that my favorite YouTuber, Sniperwolf, who was arrested <laughs> for, for armed robbery. <laughs> she was arrested for armed robbery. Oh, my God. It's too funny. It just gets better and better. <laughs> That's fucking awesome. Yeah. Research into it, and it doesn't seem to be that big of a deal. Uh, but this is Evan, for sure. This is Sausage. And the dude named X Remembrance on MGO is also just happens to be named Evan as well. All By right. the way, Sniper Wolf really doesn't try to hide this. She made a video that is deleted now uh, about her robbery charge. Bro, she's deleted more videos than she's uploaded. Holy crap. She made it in 2013. Jail is terrible, guys. <laughs> Damn! Hot takes with Sniper Wolf, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I know most of you probably haven't been there, but you guys do not want to go there. Damn. And they make it like that on purpose, especially in Arizona. Like no way! They make jail like that on purpose that you don't want to go there? That's crazy. That's crazy. Damn. Like I've heard Arizona has the worst jail, so you don't commit a crime again. But in her video, she pretty much just explains the robbery in a way where it doesn't seem very bad at all. But armed robbery? I think you have to have... I love how she's like, listen, it's a bit of a mis misunderstanding. Listen, it was like the not bad type of armed robbery. A weapon? She doesn't ever really mention that. And she also doesn't mention what happened to Evan and why he was involved. So I don't know what the f*** happened. And I don't think we ever <laughs> will. And I couldn't find any information through, um, you know, some digging. But yeah, we'll, we'll go back to x -Rumber. Listen, it was armed robbery. She was literally arrested for it. Uh, what? However you want to spin it, it's not kosher. Hooky wooky, thanks for the sub. It's here, Evan. We have some comments from X Remembrance's old YouTube channel that sort of adds more to the whole coincidence side mm. of the story. This man's YouTube channel was called XRM1217. He showed highlights of his gameplays on all the right, channel right. and talked about leaving the creator space to work on a new project. Check out this comment. Oh God, dude, this gets so juicy. Stuart, thank you for the prime. 2012. I have plans for a partnership on a entirely different account. What? What is that? What is? I. You know. Okay. Chances are, every single person subscribed to me will be subscribed to the other account without even realizing it's me. Oh my god, dude! Every time someone does something that's supposed to be low key, they always feel like they they need to get some sort of credit for it. So even if it's just a reply to a YouTube comment, they they just need that 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 credit. It's gonna be big. So. He's involved, but no one's gonna know that it's him. Well, what does that mean? What is? Well, he's the ghost player for what to call all of Sniper Wolf's gameplay. Fake, fake. It's all this one dude. Does that even mean? What does that mean? Tell me. Well, he did tell us. He said, "I've been going back to play Modern Warfare 3 all day for a milf for a Ooh! few days." <laughs> How did he? He actually wrote it. A like milf. What, bro? What? A MILF? Who's the MILF? It's exactly what I said. Just like Leo with MGO, I was doing that with a MILF on Modern Warfare 3. Sup? This guy's a pimp. Dropping names? Holy shit. That's awesome. What MILF did he fake video gameplay for for Modern Warfare 3? What the f***? And he did it with a person named Leah as well? That's weird. So That's weird. Wait a second, because Sniper Wolf's name is also Leah. Whoa! I don't know if this is the MILF, but this is a person named Aura who he did this with. Except you get no cred. That doesn't bother me because Leah gives you cred. The view of subs are all I want, Willie. She doesn't give me cred evil. I think this might be the MILF. I really don't know. It's not about the sub. Yo, it's my boy Oompaville the MILF watcher. Call him Kakioing the way he's sliding in there. Man, it's about getting paid. Paid for the gaming. That's what it's about. He got zero recognition. So there's a theory out there that X Remembrance is Evan, and Evan just did all of the gaming for the channel in the very beginning, and she was just a, like a hot front woman for the... <laughs> hot front woman. Dude, it's the ultimate combo. If they could find a way to have VTuber models with sexy voices that don't sound like cringe AI, but it's a dude p operating it, brother, that is an infinite money hack. Ladies and gentlemen, that would be incredible. In fact, it probably exists. For the whole show. Makes sense. I would do the same thing. That's a genius business decision. It and is. It's, it's basically what Andrew Tate did, right? Andrew Tate pimped out e-girls, but he typed for them. So they seemed competent. Oh my God. It's so fucking smart. 100% on the coincidence, Mark. Check this out. The exact gamer tag XRM1217 was last active on January 19th, 2013. The day that the Sniper Wolf channel was created. So he moved on to a new gamer tag.
Sniper Wolf. <laughs> oh, brother, that's insanity! Oh, no, it's whatever too obvious. Gave her PlayStation name or whatever. So does this mean she faked all her gameplay and is a total fraud? No. Probably. Yes. Allegedly. She's beautiful. Don't sue me. Probably not, but... It is a theory that people have. And, and it's a theory that was very well corroborated by the American Justice Department because she got sued for exactly that and it was proven in court. Uh, anyway. Who thinks she was actually very good at COD personally, I believe. I just need to believe that for myself. Uh, but was she getting <laughs> kill streaks crazier than pros? I don't know about that. So today I got my best flawless game ever and it's 156 to 0, domination on raid. I was using that MTAR wig, quick draw sure. and silencer. I don't sure. know, it's not good content, I gotta say. They need some, she really stepped her game up, to be honest. Um, and you know, what do I know anyways about being good at video games? I wasn't ranked Onyx in Halo Infinite or anything, matched or also oh. in the top 10% oh, of players. My pants are already Halo open, Halo my zipper is, my legs are spread. Keep uh, talking, Lopeville. Tell us more! Like that. Oh. I wasn't any of that, guys. Alert. Gamer warning! Gamer warning! Enough conspiracies, random coincidences, and alleged faked gameplay, along with a deep, yes. dark, stinky past. Let's get into some rudeness and hypocrisy. Yeah! My two favorite things in the entire world. Aside from candy. I have a candy company, by the way. Sour you should definitely, dude, go to sour.gg. Get some of Oompaville's candy. It's the good stuff. It's good. Support this man. He's been scammed. He's had a tumultuous road. Do it, bro. GG. Sniper Wolf has not always been the kind person that she is now. She genuinely... The kind person that she is now. Editor, please post the thing of her doxing Jack's films of her, you know, uh, literally being a stalker and committing a felony. Yeah, she's not the kind person uh, that she is now anymore. Right. Sure. Appears as, uh, to be a good person in her videos. She just laughs, talks, kind of bubbly, seems kind of nice. I really don't know. Would you be surprised if you received a message from her that said this? Downy avatar looking Oh! <laughs> Oh my god, she was nuts! 125 pounds is fat, you dumb pig. Bro, she was so real for that. You suck more, you whore of a mother, so sit down, clown. Oh you're such a god. You're mad because you're an insecure f I'm hot and I'm confident enough to say that. Bro, she's just less in less secure, Keemstar. What is going on? Boom, armed robbery right after. So this is like multiple different oh websites. <laughs> I just don't know why you would ever uh be so mean to people i don't know it's strange very i don't know i i have never really posted anything online a comment of anything being an asshole or a terrible person so you could make the excuse she was just young didn't really know what she was doing 18 19 years old i love how he's always like trying to justify it at the same time he's like listen i just want playing both sides you could say that maybe she was nice but alternatively she probably wasn't when I was 18 and 19 years old, I just treated people with respect, which is weird. I'm more of an asshole now. Leah kind of- <laughs> He's just like me, for real, for real. I have literally degraded over time. I just give less shits these days. Like, I don't give an ounce of a fuck anymore, and it's just so sad. I miss the old me, the nugs with a heart, the very poggers Chad type. I had a habit of being toxic and pointing out things that people would be sensitive about. Their nose, their weight, their faces. Sniper will left a comment on your photo. You're disgusting as f and you cake on makeup, I assume. Got One day I want to be just like you, a major Got him. Recommend facial reconstructive surgery. You'll never get far with that butt. <laughs> I can't believe she's actually writing all this stuff. Bro, She, you are so rich. <laughs> that one's pretty good. Because this is someone who's being very rude. Oh my and then she God. just clap back. And she just comes out of the woodwork clapping back with emojis. By the way, I stole these from Nerd City's video. A lot of these a little makes caption sense, things. So sense. go watch him in his video. Yeah, he, he, he makes great videos. I've seen that Nerd City video years ago. Makes incredible content. Much better than my content, to be honest. I suck. I'm kind of like the sniper wolf if she was a guy. With her just... <laughs> Yeah, dude, if, if, if Oompaville ever doxes me or accidentally posts, like, my face reveal by accident, I'm gonna bring this back and I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna say, oh, he was so right for this. It almost makes me want that just for that zinger. Not worth it, not worth it. <sighs> Get yourself out of it. Get, gah, gah. Making fun of people all the time and saying they're ugly and stupid and need surgery, reconstructive surgery, etc. She made a video in 2017 saying she was going to have nose surgery. To I remember 
this. This was another one of those glorious sniper wolf moments where she uh, she says she's going to have nose surgery so she can help her breathing, right? But she ended up just getting a nose job, like a rhinoplasty. Fix her deviated septum. I don't know how to explain it. It's like my nose is just blocked. It's constantly blocked. And it's not something I want to live with forever. It's one of those things that would be like, my life would be so much easier if I could just breathe like a normal person. So that's why I want to do this. Classic. <laughs> Dude, the <laughs> wait, wait, I have to like see that again. Person, so that's why I want to do this. Yeah, Umpaville does not buy your shit. Sure, sure, that's why you're doing the surgery. Yeah, oh. dude, you can't, you can't get a harassment strike for for this, right? This face ain't getting you no strikes. Classic. What you can breathe. Sure, I believe it. I have a deviated septum too. She let everyone know in this video that it was a septoplasty surgery that she planned on getting, not a rhinoplasty. Rhinoplasty is when you get a nose job. That's when you change the shape of your nose. To look By more the way, beautiful. there's nothing wrong with either. If you want to change the way that you look, that's completely fine. Your prerogative, your life. It hurts no one. It's fine. There's no reason to be ashamed for one of the way that you look, especially if you have a so beautiful so true. nose already. That's which so in nice my opinion, My nose is not that beautiful. That That is uh, thank you genetics. I have an ugly nose. The rest of me... Giga Chad, Poggers Mad type, I would go as far as to say. My nose? What can I say? What can I say? Every Jewish stereotype has some truth behind it, I guess. But ladies and gentlemen, the hilarity of it all is that Sniper Wolf makes fun of other people for getting nose jobs, and then she got a nose job. Nag's nose. Whoa, whoa, it's no Nag's nose. She did. <laughs> Team Big Nose. I have a large nose. Oh my gosh. I have a large nose, guys. And it's wide and it's full of boogers all the time. We have photos you can tell that she got a nose job. She got rid of the, the I think that's called a Roman nose. I really don't know. In my opinion, I think that's fucking beautiful. I think women with large noses are beautiful. And Dude, Oompaville is, he's just so cute. You're so cute, Oompy. Oh my God. I don't think there's any reason to change your nose, but if it makes you feel better about yourself, then you just do it. Who who cares? What the fuck? It doesn't even matter. Like, And so also calling people ugly when they have a big nose, that's just dumb as fuck. There's even a picture of her getting a black eye. Yeah, the black eye is, uh, that's only because of a nose job. Surgery, which is awesome. And in Nerd City's video, he made it very clear that it's almost impossible to get a black eye from a septoplasty. It's very, very rare. Generally, there are no complications. He even consulted with one of his plastic surgery friends. Guy has plastic surgery friends. That's awesome. What was that? Sexy, sexy wolf. <laughs> that random ghost encounter? Also made fun of a cam girl calling her fake and saying that it was incredibly obvious. We're all, see, that's my favorite arc. Uh, we, we have finally reached my favorite sniper wolf arc because all the other stuff, it's pretty sad and, and just, just ugly. But this part, this is my favorite sniper wolf arc. The sniper wolf arc where she gets a nose job and then she makes fun of other cam girls for having fake tits. Ladies and gentlemen, the goat of hypocrisy. Yes. You can obviously tell when girls' boobs are fake, when they're like bulging out of their chest. And you make such a good point. Now, prove that yours are real. Show us. <laughs> prove it, woman. You can't? You won't? <laughs> All right. And when they look hard. I don't know what else to tell you guys. Like, it's not me. After watching this video and seeing the pictures and you still don't believe me, I don't know what to tell you. But most people have a brain, can use common sense. And this cam girl is a girl that- Like, what is even your point here? Okay, so her boobs are fake. And? And your point is? No, no, really, I'm listening. I want to know what your point is, but I'm not, I'm not, cons I'm not understanding it. Looks like her, apparently, that she was saying was not her, that her tits were hard and fake looking, and it just, she had a weird tattoo. I don't really know, dude. She also uses this classic thing, talking about the nose, the lips, the tits, and the ass. Girl, the only medical bills you are paying is for that nose, the lips, the tits, and the ass. And in Nerd City- Which is hilarious, because she paid for her nose, too. Video, he really went off on her- Guys, and now, I, I really want to make this clear, because I, I don't want it to sound like uh, I'm, I'm shaming anyone at all. The, it's not about the size of the boobs. It's who the boobs are attached to. And I would rather very flat boobs attached to a wonderful person than even the greatest boobs attached to a fucking doxer degenerate, criminal record having, ass wielding, bitch ass, content stealing, fucking not credit giving, free booting, goddamn armed robbery committing, you whammon. 
I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Her pointing out all of her blemishes and her issues, the same ones that she took with other people. A hilarious bit of holding up the old mirror and seeing what happens. For a young woman with thinning eyelashes, who glues and paints parts of her face on, oh, whose shit. lips have been- The Nerd City reference! So thoroughly that they look like a microwaved hot dog about to split its case. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what is that? What are those? Sorry, sorry. I don't, I don't shame. Uh, I, I don't shame. As someone that appreciates everyone for who they are, uh, unless they're assholes, I don't shame. Who enlarges her corneas with contacts? Who filters her blemished skin so hard that she looks like a cartoon? Brother, look at that filter. She has no face. That's all. That that's all filter. All of this, this is all filter. Oh my God, she looks like a Barbie doll. Holy crap. Bro, you know why there are no pregnant Barbie dolls, by the way? Because Ken came in another box. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. I don't, I had to sue. I'm sorry, I apologize. And by the time she's done, <laughs> it's a bit rich for her to be calling out other women for yes, having sir. had work done, or yes, sir. calling them fake, yes, sir. and then holding herself up above that. Yes, Based sir. in red pill. Based in red pill. Very, very, very true, guys. Very, very, very true. It's okay for her to get plastic surgery, but not okay for anyone else to yeah. better themselves. Turns in out way. that the vindictive bitch persona that she's been vibing with for the last several years is actually the same exact person that she is today. She just hid it behind TikTok reactions using money and stuff like that. I, I think she's very beautiful, personally. And I think a lot of the people that she's making fun of are also beautiful. So it's just, it's just petty, dude. Dude, Oompaville, you are such a legend. This is pet. You know why this is petty? Because they're all beautiful. <laughs> this is the right way to end conflict. Oompaville for president, ladies and gentlemen. I would vote for that beautiful man. Constant back and forth with this woman. Everyone else is fake. I'm real. Don't attack people so much and you won't get so much criticism yourself. Do you see? Even though you had a really rough voice crack there, I'm not gonna call you out for it. Like, I'm real. Don't attack people. So there, you see that voice crack? I'm not gonna call you out for it because you are a beautiful man. I love you, Oompy. You're sexy. So much, and you won't get and you have so a nice much mustache. I especially like when you lick it. This is yourself, honey girl, baby boo boo. Okay, that sounds good. Now to be clear, sexy, sexy sniper wolf is not a bully. All right, guys, she was on Darman and she stood up <laughs> for this little girl. Right. I was just Yo, Pigeon, thank you for the thousand bits. Oompaville has always been a top tier creator just like you and Moist. Aw, that means a lot. I don't know, I don't think I'm a top tier creator. I'm just a guy that shits around on the internet. Although to be fair, I don't think, uh... see, even though I say Moist critical, bro, that list is fire though. Cause I love Oompy, Moist and, uh... I love Oompy and Moist's content. Even though I wouldn't say either of them are top tier creators, they're still two of my favorite YouTubers of all time. I don't know, how do you define a top tier creator? For me, it's all about the personality and both Oompy and Moist have top tier personalities. And Muda, yeah. For me, I, I, I don't know. I don't know, let's not list all my homies. Let's not jack off my friends too much on stream. I'm mad because I want to be a girl gamer. But my mom says girls can't play. Yeah, this video is still. Oh my god! Th this is one of Sniper? the worst videos of all time. Oh my god! I want to be just like you when I grow up. No, no, don't do that. There's no, no, please, please. We don't need more doxing victims. Plenty of other better role models. Oh my god, like Andrew Tate. <laughs> just kidding, just kidding, guys. Just kidding. And look, here's Bro, also. Bro, if every man was Andrew Tate and every woman was Sniper Wolf, this world would be. I, I would. I would look forward to World War Three. For her defending her loyal audience. She's not a bully. She defends people. That's what she does. She's a sniper wolf. I know you don't like me, but this is absolutely disgusting. You called one of my fans a virgin and all your followers attacked him. <laughs> and now he deactivated his account and you say it's a joke? <laughs> Bro, she went for Keemstar. Oh my God, dude. You are literally just as bad. <laughs> Holy shit. I honestly think sniper wolf is worse than Keemstar. Like if I had to put them in a boxing ring, Dude, that's wild. I know you called one of my fans a virgin. <laughs> that's amazing. Not a joke. Also, what the fuck is wrong with being a virgin? <laughs> Nothing is wrong with being a virgin. Just kidding. <laughs> you should lose that. No, 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 no. Don't, don't, don't. No, I don't know what. I will never lose my virginity because I never lose. Editor, add Doom Eternal soundtrack with glasses appearing on my avatar's face right now.
Thank you, editor. I appreciate it immensely. You've done a great job at making me look so badass. I'm saying. But also, though, on, on a different side of the same coin, if you're not a fan, you get called a virgin. You have such a fucked up impression of me, probably derived from bad experiences of being rejected, huh? Hashtag typical virgin. Uh Dude, she is such a hypocrite. It's hilarious. Oh my god. Lol, you're the one stalking my Twitter, sweetheart. I know bitches love money, but you can't have any of this. GG. With yeah, but you know who can have some of this? Your ex-boyfriend is suing you for who? Suing you for half of what you have? Yes, sir. The face like that and the mentally of a 12-year-old, you're worthless. I know McDonald's employees with more personality. Wow. <laughs> She just threw McDonald's employees under the under the bus too. In That's the right. end, though, Sniper Wolf would not ever learn her lesson of rudeness and hypocrisy. Yes, now, on top of all of these incredibly epic things that we've talked about, dude, it's just for me when I see the the video of her saying someone is stalking me, and then she literally stalks Jack's films, like holy shit. Because she does get her video ideas from her fans. What could I say? There's also another aspect to the Sniper Wolf saga that I would like to call the drama farm. Sniper Wolf has been in a lot of drama. Some long ago, some okay. more recently. Okay. We'll start from the beginning. Yes! The never-ending nightmare continues! was against another girl called Girl Gone Gamer. Girl oh. Gone Gamer was basically doing the same thing that Sniper Wolf was doing at the same time. Okay, Car right. highlights, okay, okay, content, right. whatever. She was raking in a similar audience, taking away from hers, and this caused some drama. Yes! We called her out saying they should 1v1 to prove who was really the true COD Girl Gamer. This is incredibly awesome. This escalated okay. and Leah got blocked by Girl Gone Gamer. No! On no! I'm <laughs> Both do the same. No! Sarcastic. No! I decided to make this video today because she actually unfollowed me off Twitter. She unfollowed you? That's definitely worthy of some drama. And you want to know something wild? And I'm going to say it. And I know VTubers are going to be mad across the world. Ladies and gentlemen, this drama that Sniper Wolf got into who, 10 freaking years ago. This is the same drama that people in the VTuber community get into today. You have VTubers on Twitter saying, Oh my god, I cannot believe I was unfollowed by this person! Bro, they don't need to follow you. They could unfollow you if you want. You don't need to make a whole thing about it. Just just leave it alone. I've been unfollowed by people. I've been refollowed by them later if I'm not a bitch sometimes. <laughs> but God, dude. And it's like... The VTuber community, since it's such a new community, it, like, it rehashes dramas that have been, like, over and done for a decade that no one gets into before. Suddenly, in the VTuber sphere, it just, it refleshes itself out. Like, do you remember that whole thing about Sniper Wolf making fun of her for, like, having, uh, fake boobs or whatever? Dude, I swear to you, in the VTuber community, you'll have people saying, I'm working so hard and I'm so talented trying to become popular. And then this other person who spends money on their VTuber model having bigger boobs gets more popular. Not because of her personality, but just because of her boobs. Bro. VTubers, you should watch this video. <laughs> you, you, you should watch this video and not make the same mistakes she's made 10 years ago. And blocked me because I asked for a 1v1. I don't think I've ever really blocked anyone who wasn't just psychopathically attacking me. On I have never blocked anyone, I think, on Twitter. It just gives them too much satisfaction. If you block someone, they're satisfied that they got to you. I just let them say shit, and I just, uh, you know, I sit in my very expensive armchair, sipping very expensive beverages, watching them cry and, and cope on Twitter. Let, let the flies c cry and cope below me while I simply don't do that and get in my incredibly expensive car and drive to my incredibly expensive rich person place. Yes, so true, so true. You you can you can bitch if you want. <laughs> On Twitter. Leah defended herself saying her gameplay was real. Um and <laughs> I was blocked by Logan Paul though, and I was pretty satisfied when that <laughs> Logan Paul blocked me for making fun of Crypto Zoo. <laughs> You see, and it made me so happy. She recorded a live gameplay webcam COD experience to prove the oh, authenticity. God. This is around when Leah had 50k subs, by the way. Uh, and she said that Girl Gone Gamer made one so much later and the webcam and mic were synced, which means it was fake, which is probably true. In all honesty, Damn. I bet both of them faked their gameplay. Listen, yeah. it's, that's the meta. It's the fake gameplay meta. It's like you want to be a sexy girl gamer god, you got to be a sexy girl, and you got to be a gamer god. If you can't be both, hire a gamer god. Easy. We ended up doing a live commentary, finally, after like 400k, which me and a lot of people knew, obviously, was fake. This was the first drama. Sniper Wolf 1, Girl Gone Gamer. I don't even know what she's doing now. I genuinely have 
No idea. Oh my Should... god, Sniper Wolf blasted her straight off the internet, back into the McDonald's parking lot. Probably was faking her gameplay. In fact, <laughs> she definitely was. <laughs> Uh, yeah, they were both probably faking their gameplay. And the hilarious thing is, Sniper Wolf is gonna call her out for faking it. When she herself fakes it too! GGG stepped down, Sissa Sniper Wolf stepped up, consumed her whole- Yes! <laughs> I fucking love Oompaville! Let's get a replay on that uh, live footage of Sniper Wolf cannibalizing another e-girl. Wolf stepped up, consumed her whole- yeah, that's what. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just knocked over my phone and my everything. <laughs> Live footage of, S of Sniper Wolf consuming another e girl. We're gonna watch that one more time. Sniper Wolf stepped up, consumed her whole. That's beautiful. It was incredible. I love that so much. Bro, that is the. <laughs> It's when someone doesn't get what is Goblin D's nuts meme? And then you're just like, oh, I'll show you. That's what it means. I got you. It was incredible. And to this day, there has never been a response from Girl Gone Gamer. So we'll never know if it truly was faked. Nor do we give a singular f This was just the first drama. Okay. The next drama was with a person named Enigma Hood. Hey, Yo! Dude, everyone has, like, the hater with, like, six followers that just says, Mmm, Nuxtaku is a shitty person, and I know this because I am awesome. Sniper Wolf's biggest hater. Enigma Hood was an incredibly small YouTube channel that decided to call out Leah way before the Sniper Wolf channel, back during the sexy, sexy sniper era. Enigma Hood was a man that would talk about politics, drama, and some of these dramas were about oh Leah. God. In November of 2012, Enigma Hood created a video talking about Leah. He called her out for insulting her fans and leading them on. Just recently, she made a video- Oh, oh no, no. Yeah, so a lot of famous YouTubers have like the hater, the designated hater, like a channel that's really small that just tries to be edgy and make videos roast the video that really uh, annoyed me. Damn. That really pissed me off. This guy gives off very strong incel vibes, uh, and I kind of like him, to be honest. This All old right, boy, when go. he was making videos about Sniper Wolf, for his arguments, he used clips of Leah's videos in his video. It's fair use, still a thing. It was a thing, but this got under Sniper Wolf's skin, and she false flagged, DMCA'd his video Brother. in Enigma Hood. Oh my god. Okay, dude. I did not know that. Like, I knew he made, like, these hate videos on her, and I knew she did, like, the response videos, but I did not know she false struck those... Dude, whoever false strikes another video to silence criticism deserves to be deplatformed. I, I, I am against deplatforming in general, but anyone that uses the copyright system to false strike a video because you don't like it deserves to literally get nuked off the platform. They are abusing the tools to cripple other creators and it is not welcome here she that is a travesty oh my god i didn't know she did that that's vicious that's vile brother now a lot of people do it a lot of people do the, the false striking because they figure i'm striking a little video i don't want it to get big and no one will notice that's that's yucky it happens to so many people like so many people and yes, a lot of the videos that get struck down, they are in bad faith. But you know what? Who cares? It's not your place to strike them down. Especially for smaller creators because they can't do shit. True. Bruh. It was not happy. He decided to go off on her on Twitter. He made a video about a racist tweet that she supposedly favorited that called him some terrible slurs. Troll who flags. This epic chad is this guy like a meme uh, guy or something i've seen him i don't even know what that is she and liked. it was liked by sniper wolf oh my god that's pathetic holy like random damn. big hater he what pretty much wears sense. nothing but a hoodie puts a hood over wears nothing but a hoodie god damn that's kind of sexy his face and makes vlogs crying about every little thing he doesn't like isn't that what you do literally while you're recording your gameplay okay Alexia, thanks for the raid. And I know he may appear to be a middle-aged man, but don't let his looks fool you. He's still pretty much a confused, little, scared 13-year-old girl who just got her period and doesn't know what to do. He's yeah. not even really insulting her that much. He's at, he's 
being pretty genuine, it's not really hate if it's true yeah. and right. She says that he just uploaded her own video to his channel and insulted her over it, uh, which, funnily enough, it was a sexy, sexy sniper video, and she denies that brand, so Bruh. it's even right. funnier. This is still in her phase of denying the existence of sexy, sexy sniper, where she says that doesn't exist. Oh, my God, dude. She is just a web of yuck. It's wild. Another like the funniest thing is she does such a good job playing up her personality in her videos and you know just being all wholesome and and cutesy and playing up her wholesome. Hey guys, today we're gonna be looking at TikToks that make me feel like I wasn't a bitch, right? And uh, she loves to play up that fake person personality of her. But every time she actually gets into drama or anything actually gets under her skin, you see just the vile creature that she is underneath. Uh, only underneath, because outside she is beautiful. She is a beautiful, sexy god gamer, and I love her. But also she sucks. Allegedly. Coincidence, I suppose. She also then says that there's no proof that she's the one- Henry and Jeannie got flagged monthly. That's usually false flag too, but it seems like they're getting out of that hole. Uh, that's community flagging, I believe. I don't think that's copyright. They get, uh, they get into trouble with YouTube's community guidelines. They get community strikes. They don't actually get copyright strike, as far as I know. Uh, so that's a different story. Taking them down? Yeah, Pokimane did strike videos that were criticism as well. Uh, I believe that she did that too. She did that to two people, as far as I know. Or maybe only one. I don't know. But that... I'm with you, homie. That's not okay. You cannot false strike videos, period. Which is pretty true, I guess. And re-uploads do exist of our favorite masked hooded creator whatever i really don't know he's seems like a cool guy. edge edgy sith lord incel guy that's what i'm gonna call him maybe a virgin but a cool guy nonetheless she also responded to enigma hood's racist allegations and she says that he cried like a little girl and that she never favorited it she said it wasn't her that favorited it so it probably wasn't right guys <laughs> destroyed remember that time when i liked a tweet that was incredibly racist it wasn't me source fuck you Time went by, he went into irrelevancy. But this wasn't the end of Sniper Wolf tarnishing the Enigma Hood name. Oh God. In 2016, on August 10th, Leah uploaded a video called My Biggest Hater. Oh my God, she made another video years later about this dude? Dog. Previous drama she complained about before with Enigma with him re-uploading her content and then her copyright claiming it. And by copyright claiming the video, she mentioned she was able to grab his real name. But that's odd But What? because she said that she had no proof it was her copyright claiming the video but now she has his name so i guess it was her though she I lied so basically she lied oh my god she stalked this dude too i cannot believe it so the copyright system on youtube is very broken when you submit a copyright strike to someone if they want to fight back they have to actually give you their legal name to fight the claim uh so you can literally I i've done this i have a corporation and stuff so i don't actually need to respond with my legal name i can respond with my corporate name uh which is very helpful um but uh a lot of youtubers don't especially little enigma hood man liter she literally got his private info and threatened to dox him oh my god dude i've learned something a lot over especially the last week um if people say some batshit crazy threat they probably mean it, um, which is insane, which is actually and positively insane. Holy crap. I guess that's what we can, we don't, we don't have to trust her word, but we can like let her eventually tell the truth. Maybe now we trust her though. Now we trust her. She then says she Googled his name and that he's a registered offender. And of what? course I Googled his name. And it's Bro, she's just out there Googling people's names. Bro, how to not write a female character? Oh my god. Turns out he is a registered sex offender. Holy shit. So, I guess he's not a virgin then. Take that, Sniper Wolf. But also, oh my god. He's 30-something years old, lives with his parents still, makes YouTube videos with a hood on. Now you know what kind of person this guy is. She then talks about That's how evil. people think she... What an evil bitch. Holy crap, allegedly. Uh, MCashTastic, thank you so much for the sub. That's insane. He likes fat guys or would date an ugly person like Enigma Hood. Yet again, attacking someone's looks and not their- I wouldn't. Sniper Wolf is a beautiful lady, I would say. Character. First of all, people have this impression that I like fat guys or I like guys that look like this ugly motherfucker. No, no. <laughs> I like sausage because he's a sausage. Thankfully, another YouTuber- Got him. All right, sure. 
I like sausage because he's a sausage and and we learned so much about her was quick to search the Sniper registry and could not find a registry for Enigma hood but still sniper wolf someone with over 7 million subscribers at the time was attacking a dude with 5k absolutely flooding his That's channel insane. with hate and anger saying he's a how could this dude even even come back from that someone with 7 million subscribers calls you a sex offender that could literally ruin your life literally will ruin your life oh my god holy shit that's that's actually so evil registered offender there's pretty much no other substance in the video aside from just calling enigma hood a piece of shit which is a fair argument because a lot of his videos are racist as well <laughs> well all right well oh no why why the jews have suffered enough then why are there jewish specific diseases such as tay sachs and why can jewish ancestry be traced via genetic tests i don't even know what that means yeah that's not racist per se i guess there was just a lot of inbreeding in jewish communities in lithuania okay well that, that's a crazy on topic uh little little thingy over here i guess huh? so in this video i'm going to discuss adam chibot goldman aka mr Lengus's hatred of arab people just two oh. pieces of shit well i guess i should have just let him talk all right listen uh okay all right if you hate arab people you're you're cringe and shitty guy hot take fighting each other it seems like but calling someone a offender uh with no substance or proof that is a very 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 low blow uh and believe it or not enigma hood filed a defamation lawsuit against sniper wolf but it didn't actually end up ever going for i love that that was his example of uh dude over the last week i have gotten more uh anti-semitic like shit thrown at me than i think my entire life combined it has been crazy. Offender? With no evidence, you call someone a sex offender? To, it, it threw a megaphone to seven million people? My God. And then just, and then just like get away with it? And still people think it's completely true. I mean, look at this guy. He still gets harassed. Look at him. A lot of oh my God, he made a video. Still people think it's completely no. true. I mean, look at this guy. He still gets no. harassed. No. Look at him. He made a video, no, I'm not a registered sex offender. No one should have to make a video like that. Oh man. Oh man. Crackhead, thank you for the sub. Oh man, that's so sad. A lot of down votes. His whole public image was completely ruined just because he wears a hood and because some random woman in California thinks he's a registered sex offender. Enough Enigma hood. Let's go to FaZe Clan. You know about FaZe Clan? Oh, he FaZe Clan. Oh, I love FaZe Clan. One of my favorite tweets in Twitter history is that every time you see someone with FaZe in their name say something, you know it's about to be the worst take you've ever heard. Whoever made that tweet, you are a legend. That is one of my favorite quotes. You heard them? I don't like them. Just kidding. I used to love them. This all happened during the new era of YouTube. We had Jake Paul, Team 10, Clout House, Beef, Beef. This was truly the, uh, the iDubs, Filthy Frank. There was a lot of drama and disputes in this era. Yeah. I think she's dating her, his friend. Yeah, her roommate. Huh? She's just like, I'm gonna I'm just Yo, oh everybody to get a free room. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Check this out. This Sounds like Logan me. Paul's wife, not gonna lie. Allegedly. Girls, everyone a Sniper Wolf decided to step up to the plate and join all the cool drama of the time, and she called the FaZe Banks ex girlfriend, some girl, Alyssa Violet. You've heard of her probably. Oh, and yeah, I remember Summer this Rage. Drama. And FaZe Bank did not like that on Twitter. Banks even dragged another member of FaZe Clan into the drama, FaZe Censor, who apparently had a bunch of text messages with Sniper Wolf. Yo, Doug, my guy, FaZe Censor, how many times did Sniper Wolf hit you up for that FaZe while she had- Oh my god, bro! Dude, this was nutty! How many times did Sniper Wolf hit you up for that phase dick when she had a boyfriend? Oh my god, dude, these guys are nutty. A boyfriend. Ouch! That's rough! That's rough. FaZe responded and went over the tweet Sniper Wolf made towards his ex-girlfriend, Yannette. Yannette. I'm not sure how to say that name. She called her out and said she had to fake it. Very classic. Very classic. Coming from Phased a girl with and glazed, ladies and gentlemen. This... Yeah, that's insane. Real ass and LMAO, your boyfriend was texting me and was trying to hook up with me before he made you famous. Nice ass implants, by the way. At least mine is real. Brother! Why does she act like a child? 
Lady, you have so much money. Why do you care? Oh my god, dude. Oh my god. Stop, stop. You are a liar and my bot is real. Show us, show us, show us, show us. Proof, 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 proof. Source, source, source. Oh my god, this dude is not happy. Bro, wait, this whole video is just actual gold. Look at this dude. He's like, no, don't show your butt. No, no. <laughs> oh no. I miss that drama days. Oh my god, that's glorious. Glorious! <laughs> These people are children. Actual children. That was embarrassing. And since her and Sniper Wolf had collabed before that, so they had some history, but then Sniper Wolf goes into DMs to try to clear things up. And he responds to her saying he did get DMs from her because she texted him that she was in an abusive relationship. Ah. I assume with Sausage, I don't exactly know. Then FaZe Sensor shows proof and he went to Verizon to even get text history between himself and Sniper Wolf. Here it is, right there, epic. Call me, would talk to you more if I wasn't in an abusive relationship I can't get out of. Hi, you're cute. <laughs> what? And after this video was posted, Sensor made a new video saying he was being threatened with a lawsuit by oh? Sniper Wolf and Sausage. Dude, Sniper Wolf just out there suing people. Bro, you do not want to see the inside of a courtroom again. You've already been arrested for armed robbery. You. Oh my god, dude. Sausage texted. Sniper Wolf would have never had drama if she never talked on Twitter. That is incorrect. She would have absolutely had drama. She didn't even go on Twitter at all since the Jax film stuff. Dude, she just stalks the man on Instagram. She went to his house and posted a picture of his house to 5 million people on Instagram. That's the most unhinged behavior I've ever heard of in my life. Him, Sausage, by the way, is Evan, a.k.a. X Remembrance, a.k.a. Chief Gamer in Charge. And he kind of goes over and says that he's going to ba basically be sued or, or, or not <laughs> if he takes all his shit down. Hey, Doug, can you confirm this is your number? It's Evan. Evan who? Sausage. What's up? Sausage says the texts are fake and can't wow. be found with recovery software. And then he says, there are a couple options we can do here, or you get sued. Sensor asks That's about dope. the options. Sausage says he can either A, tweet that the texts are fake and take his video down and work yeah. with a lawyer on an apology. I love that. I love the threatening behind the scenes to take the video down. Do you realize how bad you look? afterwards video and he can also cover the fees sensor can by the way it should be just a few grand or b she proceeds with the actual lawsuit there'll be a ton of money ton of stress and a ton of damages and she has full proof to win the case sensor as you can imagine got super fired up and wasn't going to back down <laughs> sue me and go through hell with me because i'm gonna go all the way bro why does he have to wear a tank top <laughs> to the grave to show everyone in the world that you are a liar and that you need to own up to your mistakes. This is a perfect Damn. opportunity for you to come out and apologize because if you want trouble, you're asking the wrong guy. Dude, it's so funny. I, I almost, I'm almost sad. <laughs> so in our next episode of the Some Ordinary Podcast, that should be dropping like Thursday or whatever, uh, it's a really great episode and it's with the certain films, of certain films that goes by Jack in some places. And we recorded it obviously before the whole doxing mess. And he literally asked me in the video, he in the podcast, he says, if she made an apology, she would be forgiven. And I said, she will never be forgiven, period. And that was that was my really hot take. And it was debated at that point. Well, that aged like fine wine, didn't it? I will put you through trouble, and I will prove that you are wrong. She will most likely take the fight to you so she doesn't have to worry about lack of personal jurisdiction. There will be tons of legal fees and then damages, which she has proof of. What proof? What damages? I think the average person who she has attacked in the past would just take it in the ass and just kind of uh, let things go. Yeah, because in the past, she's always insulted people with like 5,000 subs. <laughs> she literally just insult people with 5,000 subscribers. Oh my God. She had 7 million subs and she would beef with people with 5,000 subs. Now, finally, she starts beefing with someone that actually has an audience on their own and they are like, Sir, this ass is not for your strap-on. Censor did not, and he wasn't going to back down. He stood up for himself, and lo and behold, there was no lawsuit. Okay, makes sense. And guess what? Sniper Wolf apologized on Twitter. Yo! <laughs> she said, I just wanted to say I'm sorry. It was wrong what I said, and no one deserves to be judged without knowing them. Ah, oh, that's so beautiful and wholesome. Uh, but beyond apologizing to Alyssa Violet, she didn't apologize to anyone else, and nothing else happened. This is the worst drama, in my opinion, that Sniper Wolf 
<laughs> okay, but before we get into the worst drama, my chat is in this whole argument about Mia Khalifa right now, and uh, why are you talking? I don't even know why you're talking about her. <laughs> I don't even know why she's mentioned now. What? Uh, okay. Mia said some fuck shit. Chat, let's leave it at that. All right, you know, we'll leave it at that. Who's Mia Khalifa? An ex-porn star that got fired by Playboy for being an anti-Semite or something. I don't know the drama, but it's it's pretty wild. Pretty wild out there on the internets these days. I haven't been on Twitter. Has been in up until this point. There's still potential, though. We could have another one coming up very soon. In 2021, a terminally ill 10-year-old girl by the name oh, of... Oh, it's this one. Oh, it's this one. Yeah, we mentioned this earlier. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's this one. Oh, man. Oh, man. Yara was on a uh, channel called No Jumpers Podcast. They do other stuff, too, aside from just a podcast. But she was on that channel. Yeah, they do other stuff, too. Like, you know getting uh, allegations of sleeping with minors, stuff like that, whatever. <laughs> Let's not talk about No Jumper now. And um, they made her feel loved. They gave her some money, some random gifts, etc. It was around Christmas. <laughs> what do you say? Dude, I, I hate this drama. This just makes me sick. This literally just makes me so sick. Oh my God. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Oh, it's okay. Can I get a hug? Oh, it's okay. When she was being in a cancer patient, like, who's gonna die soon and they asked her it's like if you have a dream what's one thing you want to do and she says i want to meet i want to meet my idol sniper wolf bro this this makes my black dying evil abyss where my heart should be ache interviewed by the people there they asked her what her favorite person on tiktok was or who she followed and she said her favorite youtuber is sniper wolf who's your favorite person you follow on tiktok sniper wolf She's like a really big YouTuber. <laughs> Who's nice. that? Sniper Wolf. You, you don't know, know about her. We gotta show uh, her. You gotta put me on. <laughs> they laughed and joked about it, and then they let her know that they'd get in contact with her for her. And Bruh. over the next couple days, a lot of stuff happened no. that, in my opinion... It boggles the mind how someone could be this cruel. It just straight up blows me away that someone could be this evil. Quite heartbreaking. So, Sniper Wolf reaches out to the mom and says that she would love to send her a message. Here's the full texts. This is awesome, in my opinion. Yeah. What a great thing for she Sniper Wolf it. to do. Just take a couple minutes out of her day to make a little girl's dream, whatever it may be. On her last few days of living. Uh, something come true. Sniper Wolf says that tomorrow would work, and if not, then Sunday. Okay? The mom seems very, very, very excited and says, just message us when you're ready. Then the mom posted a story oh, saying that she's going to have a video call with Sniper Wolf, and then which Sniper so Wolf wholesome. asked her not to share that because she'll get spammed, which... That's fair, I guess. She doesn't normally do this for other people. I guess that's fair. The mom apologizes. She says, I have no clue. So then some time goes by. I mean, by it is a cancer patient, right? Even if you get spammed by cancer patients, like, you'd think you could make the time for something like that. Can't seem to get it all worked out. Sniper Wolf says, hey, I can do it in two hours. Then the mom says, that is 11 p.m. over on this side. We live in Massachusetts. Kiara will most likely not be awake. Sniper Wolf said, oh, You know, okay. because she's a cancer patient. Dude, I, I, I can't stop reiterating it because I want it to be so obvious at how evil this situation is. Oh, my God. Hey, hopefully tomorrow. Does any time work during the day? So then the mom says, Kiara is up. We can do it whenever. And Sniper Wolf says, hey, sorry, I won't be Literally home. any time during the day. It's, it's a video call. It's a video call. It's a video call. For another two hours. Might be too late. We can keep trying, but my day's usually very busy. Dude, it's a 15-minute video call. What does that mean? You just call her any time during the day. Then the mom kind of gets disappointed. It's because you could ghost and you keep pushing off. Bro, you're ghosting and you're pushing off a kid that might not be alive tomorrow. What is fucking wrong with you? Like, what is going through your head? Is she that like on a pedestal that she thinks she is on such a high level she is just a level 10 human where she's dealing with a level one peon that that she doesn't even feel like they're worth the time it's like cool to be busy whatever but it's also a 10 year old that has terminal cancer so maybe set some time aside just maybe set some time aside from your very busy day 
no matter what you're doing, maybe just set some time aside. You know, it's not that hard. The mom calls her out on her bullshit and then posts it on her story, and Sniper Wolf is obviously upset. She well, says, yeah. no need to be rude. I Suddenly, she looks very awful. Said I would do it. It's Christmas, and my family is visiting from out of town. She says, we are good. Yeah, and her, her family would totally be so against her calling a kid with terminal cancer. I cannot imagine how frustrating that would be to deal with someone who is just so holier than thou and uh, incredibly self-obsessed and just entitled. It's it's Inhuman. wild, man. And then the wildfire. Sniper Wolf is like a real-life SCP. <laughs> it's like actually insane. I don't know how God came up with her. Started. Keemstar called her out. People got mad. Bro, she started calling. Keemstar is taking the moral high ground. You know you fucked up. People out. Are you dumb? I said I'm doing it, so I'm doing it. I never ghosted. I was trying to find time that worked, and she blocked me. So Leah just tries defending herself by posting the messages on Twitter, but no one's really. Happy. Nope. Doesn't look good for you that you kept pushing off and ghosting a dying child. Yet somehow it just it just didn't look good. Having it because it's a terminally ill 10 year old girl. No one's going to be on the side of the, the multi millionaire 35 million subscriber having whammon with a fake nose. Incredibly rich and entitled YouTuber known as Sniper Wolf, even if she's sexy, sexy. We did eventually find proof that she did get in contact back with the mom and uh, eventually also talk to Kiara herself. Uh, here's the texts. Incredible, beautiful. Just a few days later after all And this all it took was the whole internet getting mad at her to do it. Ah, what a nice story. Stuff happened the same day that Sniper Wolf retweeted the Attack on Titan season four, part two tomorrow. Uh, Kiara passed away. Kind of seems very scummy, whatever. At least- <sighs> This is literally the saddest story. Oh my God, dude. And to think, that's not even the worst thing she's done. It's just the least human thing she's done. In the end, she did eventually make time uh, away from her eating delicious cake at restaurants to talk to the terminally ill girl. Um, but, uh, but it took a while, you know? It took a while. Probably shouldn't have taken that long. Now, the most contentious point of now, Sniper Wolf- For me, that was just, when you see something, like all the other stuff, I get it. It's drama, it's making money, it's farming content, it's farming views, it's, like, I can sort of put myself in her shoes. Right? I could sort of try to understand what's going through her head when she does all this stuff, right? She d gets into drama for views. She beefs for views. She cannibalizes other creators for views, for money. Like, I, I can get the perspective. I cannot even fathom what was going for her head when she, what was going through her head when she said like, oh, maybe tomorrow, maybe, maybe tomorrow. Oh, maybe in two hours, maybe if I'm available. Like, I can't even fathom what was going through her head at that point. Like, I don't get it. That, I, I just don't get it brother wolf's career is what she's doing now jack's films has i gotta go if anyone is interested in a nux versus billy's card against humanity game i'm in the nux discord server that's actually hilarious maybe message one of my mods i don't know if i'm ever going to do something about it because i've never really done cards against humanity but that sounds cool and editor don't put that in the video because i don't want to promise something on a video because people are going to be upset at me that i promise something in the video it's kind of exposed the brainless tactic of her creating content for yeah. what it is. A completely brainless thing that has no positive impact on the world whatsoever. It doesn't do anything. And it is the absolute easiest thing she's ever done. And it is the most successful thing she's ever done. So what do you guys think down below? Genuinely speaking, mm. is Sni What do I think? Sniper Wolf a bad person? Does she deserve all the hate that she gets? Does she deserve all the drama? To me, she seems like someone who I just- I love how, how like, level-headed he is after all this. Dude, oh my god, just the level-headedness of it all. Kinda has a problem- Dude, I love you and B, um, you do great just stuff. Being a bitch, I, I, like, I really don't- She's just a bitch. At least from what I've seen, there are definitely worse people out there. I mean, she hasn't directly scammed anyone yet that we know of. That would- Honestly, I think that doxing Jax Holmes is worse. Like, uh, we should do a tier list of crimes, uh, at some point, but I think that, uh, doxing jacks films is worse than scamming your fans because if you scam your fans at least they're idiots that invested into your crypto zoo okay they're idiots now it's a hundred percent logan paul's fault that they got scammed because he promoted it and marketed it and scammed them but i think this is this is worse ghosting cancer patient is pretty hard yeah that's just being an asshole that's not actually a crime that's just being evil that's just being inhuman would kind of be like a nail in the coffin type situation. In reality, she doesn't really hurt people anymore. She just makes really shitty content that just kind of harms the, the crew. And you know, she put Jack's film's family at risk. 
uh, which happened after Umpi posted this video, obviously. Your platform in general. Big giant hypocrite, sure. But does she deserve all the hate she gets all the time? Maybe. Does she deserve to be deplatformed? Probably not. The woman- Not anymore! She has finally reached the state where I think she deserves to be deplatformed. Now, I said about the copyright strikes thing that she deserves to be deplatformed for that, and I do- Stand by that. I think anyone that, that abuses the copyright system deserves to be deplatformed, or at least should have a three-strike policy. If you abuse the copyright policy three times, you deserve to be deplatformed 100%. That is my, my hot take. But now, after doxing Jack's films, which is direct violation of the YouTube Terms of Services, she absolutely does not deserve to be here. Her freaking YouTube channel needs to look like a parking lot. Now. Yesterday. Woman just cannot stay out of the spotlight. She loves it. She's doing very well for herself, and it's hard not to respect the grind, to be honest, in my opinion. But yeah, that was my totally unbiased look at yeah! the through the ages. I love how unbiased he was about all of it. All the drama, everything. Yeah! Oopie, you make great videos. I love your stuff. You have to stop selling yourself short. You make good stuff great stuff even and we are going to get roid into more sniper wolf drama on the next stream maybe possibly thank you so much for being here i hope you enjoyed and i hope you you, you learned things or two about being evil and stuff uh wow like subscribe and follow me on twitch stay weird fam